Good morning students. In the last video we have discussed about the construction and working principle of impulse turbine that is Pelton wheel. So now we have to derive what is the work done in this Pelton wheel or Pelton turbine. So before deriving the work done we have to understand the velocity diagram of moving blade of Pelton wheel. So to understand the velocity diagram, first we have to know what is velocity diagram. Velocity diagram is nothing but the finding out of relative velocity at inlet and outlet of the blade. What is relative velocity? We know velocity is a vector quantity. So, that addition or the subtraction of two vectors is not mere addition. So, this is the example of velocity addition or velocity subtraction by vector method. Suppose u is one component of velocity and V is the other velocity. As it is a vector quantity, it has both magnitude and direction. So, this is the magnitude of V and this is the direction of V. And this is the magnitude and direction of U. So, now this third side of the triangle is nothing but the relative velocity of u and v or the difference of vector difference of v and u. So similarly in this case we will see how we will calculate this relative velocity at inlet and at exit from this we have to calculate different components of velocity from which we will derive the work done. So let u1 equal to blade velocity at inlet. In a turbine we have a moving blade here the bucket. So the velocity of moving blade at inlet is u1 and the second thing is z. One is blade, second one is z. So this is z of water. That is why we have to calculate the relative velocity as two velocity component are working on the turbine. One is blade velocity, second one is z velocity. Blade velocity, velocity with which the bucket is moving. And jet velocity, that is the velocity with which the water jet enters into the bucket. So at inlet, U1 is blade velocity, V1 is velocity of jet, VR1, VR1, so this is U1. This is V1, so this is VR1, is relative velocity at inlet. You can mark here as U1 and V1 are in the same direction, that is horizontal direction, VR1 is nothing but the mere difference of V1 and U1. So this VR1 is relative velocity at inlet. Vw1, this is wheel velocity at inlet. So, this, this component is required to find out the work done in case of a impulse turbine. So, wheel velocity at inlet is nothing but horizontal component of V1. Here, as V1 is already in horizontal direction, so, Vw1 is nothing but equal to V1. 
So V W1 is the horizontal component of V1. This is equal to V W1. So V F1 is velocity of flow at inlet. That is vertical component of V1. So here V W1 is equal to V1 and V1 is making an angle 0. So V F1 equal to 0. So next alpha 1. What is alpha 1? Angle with which jet enters the blade. Water jet enters the blade. Here, the water enters horizontally along the same direction as the moving blade. So, angle is 0. Beta 1, this is blade tip angle at inlet. So, blade tip angle at inlet. In this case, this is also 0. You remember alpha 1 is angle between V1 and E1. V1 and E1. And beta 1 is the angle between VR1 and E1. VR1 and E1. So in case of Pelton wheel, both alpha 1 and beta 1 is 0. So the Velocity triangle at inlet is a horizontal line and VR1 is just the difference between V1 and U1 and VW1 is equal to V1 and VF1 is equal to 0. So at outlet, similarly U2, V2, VR2, VW2, VF2, alpha2 and beta2 are the corresponding value at outlet. Means U2 is blade velocity at outlet. V2 is velocity of jet at outlet. VR2 is relative velocity at outlet. VW2 is wheel velocity at outlet. That is horizontal component of V2. So in this case, here alpha 2 and beta 2 are not equal to 0. So this is the VR2 relative velocity at exit. And U2 is same as U1. This is equal to U in horizontal direction. So this is V2. You see V2 is nothing but vector addition of VR2 and U2. VR2 and U2. Or so this is your V2. So horizontal component of V2 is equal to VW2 and vertical component of V2 is equal to Vf2. So in this case, as the flow is axial or parallel to the axis of the runner, u1 equal to u2 equal to pi dn by 60. So this is equal to u. Where d is the diameter of the runner. So now we have discussed about different velocities and relative velocity. So two components are there. One is velocity of wheel and second is velocity of flow. Velocity of wheel or wheel velocity and blade velocity are responsible for finding out the amount of work done. So next we will discuss about the work done.